Longley with your news briefing. Three more people have died from COVID in Queensland overnight, while there's 23,630 fresh infections across the state. Chief Health Officer Dr John Gerard says 589 people are in hospital across Queensland. The figure of 41 in intensive care is up from 26 yesterday. So there's a steady increase in the number of patients in hospital. It's not an explosive increase, a steady increase. The increases are across Queensland in all regions. There seems to be particular growth in the Brisbane south of the river. Meantime, domestic borders will come down from 1am tomorrow. Interstate arrivals won't need to show a border pass to gain entry into the Sunshine State. The requirement to have a negative rat result is also being scrapped. In New South Wales, 29 people have lost their lives to the virus overnight. That's a new record. Another 62,000 positive tests have been confirmed. In Victoria, 18 lives have been lost in the last 24 hours and there's almost 35,000 new cases there. A man is fighting for life after being shot in Brisbane's inner city. Police were called following reports there had been a shooting. They found him with significant leg injuries. He's been taken to hospital in a critical condition. And Buckingham Palace has broken its silence regarding Prince Andrew. The Duke of York's military titles and royal patronages have been handed back to the Queen. The move comes as he faces a sex assault lawsuit in the US. He has consistently denied the allegations. The Snooze Super Summer Sale is now on. On. Save up to 50% on mattresses and up to 40% on bed frames. Exclusions, T's and C's apply. Usman Khawaja will open the batting for Australia in the final Ashes test in Hobart the Savo. Skipper Pat Cummins says Marcus Harris knew he was being dropped. I think he knew it was coming. Oh, you know, the message to Harry is we, we think he's going really well. It's really tough on him. Um, it's yeah, not too often that someone comes in and hits 200s in the same game. While England is hopeful two of their big names will be right, there's been injury concerns surrounding Ben Stokes and Johnny Besto in the lead up to the final game. <laughs>